assume uh, another situation here. So assume instead, instead of a per unit subsidy, it's a lump sum subsidy uh, that's provided to Zach Rail here. So in the short run, will the dead weight loss increase, decrease, or not change here? Uh, so let's go ahead and tackle this one before we tackle the second part of the problem here. So again, once again, we're drawing the demand curve here. And then we're drawing the marginal revenue. And then you're drawing the marginal cost curve. And again, here is the ATC here. I haven't labeled it yet here. So this is the ATC. This is the marginal cost. This is the demand curve. This is uh, MR equals zero here. This is MR. And here's the profit maximizing quantity and profit maximizing price here. So if there's a lump sum subsidy, well, a lump sum subsidy is great, but it has no impact on the marginal because it's, it's already given. So it has no impact on the marginal behavior. So here is going to be the uh, economic loss. But it's, it's not going to change, uh, uh, it's not going to change the dead weight loss. So the dead, dead weight loss here is this area here. So here's the dead weight loss. Uh, but again, it, it doesn't change, uh, it, it does not change the dead weight loss. So the subsidy, I'm sure the, the company is going to accept the money here, but it's not going to really change their uh, profit maximizing point. Now, the second part of the question, will Zach Grail's economic losses increase, decrease, or not change? Well, basically, you have to understand which, which of these curves is going to shift. Well, clearly, the lump sum subsidy doesn't change the marginal cost. What it does change, it changes the fixed costs. So the lump sum subsidy basically uh, lowers the fixed cost, which lowers the ATC. So what you're going to see here is that the ATC here is going to move down to something like this here. So let's call this ATC2 here. And what's going to happen is that the loss is going to decrease. So the answer here is decrease. So the profit is going to increase. Now it's a negative profit, so you have a less negative profit. So that's basically what happens. Thanks for watching educator.com.